Yo, what's going on, guys? Sugar Rafts here, and today I'm gonna be doing a Cinema 4D video for you guys. Um, I'm I'm just gonna write down Manta for like Manta Graphics. It's not really a YouTube channel. Um, like it's not YouTube channel that I know. I just did it off the Manta logo that I made. I just based it off of that. And um, yeah, hopefully this video can get like one like. Let's hopefully it can get one like. So I'll make a part two, the Photoshop part. This is just a Cinema 4D part. But next time, I'll make the Photoshop part. Whoa! I'll sh at least I'll show you guys the Photoshop part. <clears throat> so, how about we get started? So, I'm going to open my file, and I got a Lightroom right here. Okay, I'm going to put in that Lightroom. It's giving me a weird thing. Alright, so, now I have this Lightroom. And if you're new to Photoshop, this is actually really for you. Um, I don't need, you guys don't need this Lightroom, I just use it because it looks cool and it has all the stuff. But I'll show you guys how to make the, you know, these little things at the bottom. So, um, yeah. Um, how about we go to MoGraph, MoText, and it takes my computer a little bit to load up the text. Ooh, dang, it's actually quite fast right now. Um, oh, never mind, I just botched it. Okay, uh, put that text in the middle. I'm gonna just type in, man, to... Boom. Okay, and I have Manta. I'm gonna center that real quick. I'm gonna re, you know, re, I guess frame, reframe my camera. And then, um, okay, okay. My mic is falling. Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, but, uh, anyways, uh, let's get to a good font. I need a nice, maybe slim, a nice slim font. Ooh, oh, I just saw one. Uh, Vincent, I mean, I don't really feel like that's very, wait, how about, um, should be up here, uh, Double Breeze, what about that? I mean, wait, what happens if I, ooh, hmm, it could work, and I could, uh, make the T lowercase too, because this font is weird. No, nah, I'm not going to go with that right now. I, I need to choose my font. Come on. You know what? I'm going to go with the most common font because why not? Um, just for the video's sake, guys. You guys can spend your time, but just for the video's sake, I will go with... Where is it? It's not that. Um, long shot. There it is. Oh, boom. Right there. Manta, and I'm going to go horizontal spacing. Wait. I just go... More text. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, let me turn that depth up to about, um, 35. If you guys don't know what depth does, it practically, you know, makes it a bit thicker. And I need it to be thicker. So, I'm gonna just move it to the very center once again. And, oh, God, there's, like, a guy out there with the motorcycle. Okay, horizontal spacing, there it is. Move it just, you know, this much. So, there's a bit of space between these letters. Manta and... How about a bit? Eh, 45 is good. Uh, click on your move text. Hit uh, C. And then you got all, all your text separate, right? Um, you don't want to do anything with that yet. Um, I would just do this just to see if you guys like it. Just to hit this little render button. It'll show you that. Um, hit Control C, Control V. You'll have that down. And uh, yeah. Alright, sorry guys, I just got a little interrupted, just a little, my parents came back home, but I had to greet them, you know? But, um, you got this, uh, copy of Motex, alright? You're gonna wanna change your camera angle, and, um, alright, yeah, we, we're on the move button, and just move it back until you see that little border, and it, like, meets, I'd say, and then just, you know, curve it, and then zoom out. Do whatever you need to do to make it look perfect. Oh, dang. I actually really like that camera angle. I really do. Boop. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to click this. And this is the part where it gets fun. Actually, how about I move to this. Uh, go to your first layer that you made first. Like, the fir very first, first layer. This one right here. Okay. Got a little, you know, weird. Um... I'll choose this. Okay, so practically, if you don't have this uh, little um, Lightroom, just double-click in this little box that's holding the Lightroom, 
and then you'll get a page that looks like this and then you can edit it all in this uh, I'm gonna get rid of that diffusion and bump so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have this how about I just make one and uh, clear there you go so color and you're gonna want to you know change it up to your preference I like that I like that blue um, I'll make it a bit less lighter oh oh there okay there we go um about that much yeah so once you've had that um, you got your color figured out um, and if you don't know, just go to Object sh Soft Shadow to make it like this texture to look cool. And um, go Reflections, and like you can edit down your all your stuff down here, and your inner widths and strength and stuff. You can edit, mess around with it, guys. You'll figure it out. Um, I, I don't use Bump because typically it ruins my photos for some reason. Uh, you do not want fog, um, only in some cases though. Glow, I usually go inner strength and I turn it up a bit. Actually, I turn it up a lot. What am I? Why? I'm not going to lie, I turn it up a lot because I really like the glow feeling. And, yeah, okay. So, once you've done that, um, you have your little preset ready and you want to go to every second, like, letter, I guess. And,. Once you've had every sec- Oh, oh god, what did I just do? Okay. Once you got every second letter, I'm just going to move this one in, okay? And once I move this one in, I have mode text one here. I'm going to hit scale for mode text one. And I'm going to scale that up. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to move it down. Now, this is not going to be perfect. No matter what you people say, it will never be perfect. You can, like, go here, edit each individual, like, you know. Oh, wait. I don't want to uh, edit my original. Go to Motext. And then, the uh, Motext one, actually. And then go here, and then, like, you know, edit each one of them. Um, I think I'll do that just for the video's sake, because it has to be perfect, guys. I'm a perfectionist, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this one is not perfect either. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, right there. Alright. And, uh, while I'm doing this, guys, I just want to say, I know I've been not uploading in a while. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. But, the only reason for that is I had a really bad fever, and I was just a little lazy. <laughs> I was a little lazy, you're not gonna lie, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Boop. Mm. Alright, okay. Uh, and that A goes right there. And, uh, yeah, okay, so at this point, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to, you know, render it out, see how it looks. Hmm, there's only one problem, and I know what it is, too. Uh, it's not really a problem. You, you just have to do something. Uh, do this, and then this. It's practically the opposite of everything else you did on these. And I think I'll make the manta on the inside about, like, the empty spaces. I actually want to fill those up. So, this one, you kind of do need um a... I'll call it a light room, but you don't really necessarily need one. But uh, I'm gonna go, yeah, object soft shadow, okay. And I guess you kind of don't just go to color, have your reflectors on. So I don't use luminance and bump at all. Color reflection on, turn that down. I'm gonna use a clear palette thing and just turn that all the way down, down, and down. Why? Hmm. I wonder. What am I doing wrong? I have to make it all the way dark. Maybe the reflectance is too much. Hmm. Eh, I guess. I guess, I mean, this was probably really dark enough. Wait. What if I just turn that bright? It's okay. Okay, hopefully this will work. Let's uh, have a little test then. Let's see what that looks like. I'm kind of digging that, actually. That looks really nice. 
That looks really nice. So how about I just use that? I mean, I don't want to waste you guys' time. You guys have your own time. Just pause the video. You know, pause it on and off. Um. Okay, okay. So that T is a little messed up, so I'm going to have to fix that. Besides that, everything else is look better. Actually, I actually use, like, this kind of camera angle. To, like, like, frame all my wordings. And make it look a bit big. Like, big, you know, like, bigger make it look a bit bigger so yeah it looks pretty cool Ooh, i like that i like that blue um but i'm not digging the chrome i'm not digging the chrome as much as i would right now i'm not digging the chrome i mean i like the white better should i just stick with blue and white i think that'll be a good option for me right now um i really want to just scale up this t a bit more and move it just a bit oh god oh what have i done okay i'm trying to select this all right all right and we're doing good i think hopefully um got that down i think that's pretty good but we're not done yet as you can see why did i just close that um we're not done yet, uh, we, I mean, I can just, uh, leave these out, blue and white is my channel color, i not mine, but random channel color, and now you select one, like the M, like the very first letter, hit, hold control, hit M again on the lower part, uh, click this rotate tool, and you'll have these bunch of lines, green is horizontal, and red is vertical and blue is rotate. You, you guys can get it from the the picture. I'm just gonna, you know, mess around with these a little bit. You just gotta mess around, man. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's good. Okay, wait. Needs to be a bit more churn. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. That one's that way, so this one's gonna be the complete opposite of that. This way, I do. Um, whenever there's one, like, looking a certain direction, like, this letter is looking- Oh, God. <coughs> um, like, this letter, the letter A is looking bright, so the letter N is gonna look a bit darker. And then we got our T. Do, do, and this one's gonna be a bit brighter, so it's gonna go up and tilt to the left. And then we have... A. So A is gonna tilt this way down. It's gonna be like our darkest color here. And I'll make it go this way. So once you got the like render it out. And, ooh, I like that. I like that. Really bright, really like a lot of color in that. Yeah, I'm dig I'm digging that. Um I'm just moving up a bit. Like right there. Right where the graph lines are perfectly aligned. Yeah, that's pretty good, guys. Um, uh, that's practically it. If you guys want to add, you know, more, just restart the entire tutorial. Do it again. And do it for like little. If you want to make another. Okay. Okay. Did my audio thing record? Screw it. Okay. Um, I just, like, disconnected my mic real quick. Okay. Hopefully nothing bad happened, you guys. But, um... Woo! I'm just gonna... Can I, like... Okay. Whoa, guys. Okay, that was really weird. Right as I'm ending the video, too. Okay. Drama. Please. Drama alert. Okay, no. Okay, I'm not even gonna mention him. Um, but right now, I got this Manta done. And, um... Yeah, if you guys want a part two, just leave one like. That's all it takes. So please leave a like, please for the cause. Okay, but uh, anyways, guys, uh, see you guys next time, and um, hopefully there will be a new video tomorrow.